come to laying on your back, bringing the soles of the feet together and let the knees open wide, finding a reclined butterfly. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly and just begin to breathe. Take a deep inhale and exhale and a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And one more inhale and exhale. Bring the knees together and plant both feet on the mat. Supine twist. Draw your right knee into your chest and hug it in. Take a big breath in here. Exhale, drape the knee across your body. Send your right arm to the right. Turn your gaze to the right and settle in. Return to center. Bring the feet back to the mat. Supine twist, second side. Left knee to chest, squeeze it in. Inhale. Exhale, lay it over to the right side. Left arm goes left. Gaze goes left. Relax into the floor. Come back to center. Lay your left leg long and pull your right knee into your chest. Then hug it in for a gentle stretch. Release your right leg and plant your right foot on the ground. Stretch your right leg long and pull your left knee in as you squeeze it toward your ribs. Release your left leg and plant your left foot back on the ground. Extend your right leg to the sky, left leg long to the mat, and interlace your hands behind your right hamstring. Then gently pull the leg in toward your face. Release the right foot down to the floor. Pull your left knee into your chest. Interlace your hands behind your left hamstring, right leg long on the mat. Lengthen your left leg and draw it in toward your chest. Plant the left foot down. Extend your right leg to the ceiling. Then cross your right ankle over your left knee for a figure four stretch. Reach the right hand in between the legs 
and wrap the left hand around the hamstring. Bind the hands and pull the hamstring into the chest. Let the hips be heavy. Feel a stretch in the sacrum and the outer right hip. Soften the shoulders down and soften your face. Release both feet to your mat. Left side, figure four. Cross the left ankle over the right knee and weave the left hand in between the legs. Capture the hamstring with both palms and then recline back. Soften your hips and soften your face. Release. Bring both feet back to the earth. Happy baby. Draw both knees in wider than your rib cage. Reach for the outer feet or the hamstrings and exhale as you pull on the legs, flattening your back against the mat. Relax into the floor for a moment. Grab behind your hamstrings and come up to a comfortable seated position. Reach your arms overhead. Inhale. Exhale, side stretch. Plant your right hand down by your right hip and stretch your left arm up and over. Root through the left hip and stretch the left fingertips away. Inhale. Let the left fingertips yearn toward the floor. Exhale. Push your left rib cage away from you. Inhale. Soften. Exhale. Easy seated twist. Bring your right hand behind you and your left hand to your right knee. Twist right. Exhale. Rotate your right rib cage back. Sit up tall. Inhale. Twist deeper. Exhale. Let your shoulders relax down. Lengthen tall. Inhale. Twist. Exhale. Turn back to center and inhale. Raise your arms overhead. Exhale. Fold forward over your legs and drape your arms out in front. Push yourself back to a seat. Second side, reach your arms overhead. Breath in. Exhale, left hand melts to the floor. Right hand stretches up and over. Reach the right fingers away. Stretch your right side body. Inhale. Relax your right shoulder back and down. Exhale. One more time, side body stretch, inhale, soften, breath out. Find the twist again, left hand behind you, right hand to left knee. Twist your left rib cage back, exhale. Lengthen, sit up tall, inhale. Twist a little deeper, exhale. 
Get tall, inhale. Twist deeper, exhale. Let the left shoulder pull back. Turn back to center and inhale. Raise your arms overhead. Exhale, send your arms out long in front of you for another fold. Slowly walk your hands back to a seat. Find tabletop. Roll over your shins and plant your hands. Inhale, cow. Shoulder blades pull together. Heart reaches through. Exhale, cat. Push through the hands to round the spine. Inhale, cow. Pull back with the hands to send the chest forward. Exhale, cat. Puff up the upper back. Inhale, cow pose. And exhale, cat pose. One more. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Come back to tabletop. Puppy dog pose. Walk your hands out in front and let the chest fall toward the floor. Rest your forehead or your chin on the floor, but keep your hips over your knees. Reach the hands forward as you inhale. Soften the chest toward the floor. Exhale. Breath in. Reach forward. Relax down. Exhale. Reset the hips over the knees if you need to. Tabletop. Walk the hands back under the shoulders. Inhale to side plank, knee down. Send your right foot back and reach your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, draw the abs in. Push the hips higher. Inhale. Come back to tabletop. Right hand to the mat. Kneeling side plank, second side. Left foot steps back. Left arm lifts to the sky. Inhale. Stay for the breath out. Push down through your right hand to reach taller. Inhale. Return to tabletop. Root through the L's of your hands. Tuck your toes. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Push the mat away. Inhale. Let the heart soften toward your toes. Exhale. Send your tailbone high to the sky. Inhale. Soften ankles down. Exhale. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Make your way to a seat, legs in front, knees bent. Gomukhasana. Lay your left leg down and sweep your right leg on top. Flex both feet. Plant your hands on either side of your hips and inhale to lengthen your spine. Then exhale, start to fold gently over the legs. Walk your hands out in front and drape the shoulders down. Let your chin come toward your chest and your outer hips root down into the mat.
gently start to walk your hands back in. Release your hands behind you. Untangle your legs and bring your feet to the mat. Maybe let your knees fall side to side. Gomukhasana, second side. Lay your right leg down and drape your left leg on top. Flex the feet. Plant the hands and inhale, sit up nice and tall. Then exhale, start to walk your hands forward and let yourself fold over your legs. Press gently into the palms and let the outer hips root down. Soften your face and breathe deeply. Gently start to walk your hands back toward your shins. Bring your hands behind you. Untangle your legs and plant your feet down. Maybe let your knees swing side to side. Come to a wide-legged seat. Separate your legs wide. Flex your feet so your toes face up and stick your butt out. Turn to face your left leg and reach your arms overhead. Inhale. Then exhale. Tilt towards your right leg and let your right arm drop toward the ground inside your right thigh. Press your left hip down. Rotate your chest to the sky and breathe into the stretch in your right inner thigh and your left side body. Lift your torso and let your hands rest by your hips. Turn your torso to face your right leg. Sweep your arms up overhead. Breath in. And then tilt to the left, letting your right hand drape across the right ear, maybe finding the ground overhead. Drive down through the right sit bones and stretch the right arm farther overhead. Reach for the toes, then tilt your torso toward the sky. Breathe here. Come back to center. Release your right hand down. Draw the legs together and point your knees at the sky. Lay your right shin bone down parallel to the front of the mat for fire log pose. Cross your left ankle over your right knee and let your left knee fall wide. Inhale, press through your sit bones and sit up nice and tall. Exhale, walk your hands forward and fold. Let your head hang, chin toward your chest, and soften into the stretch in your outer hips.
gently start to walk your hands back in. Bring your hands behind you and plant your feet flat on the mat. Maybe let your knees fall side to side to neutralize your hips. Lay your left shin bone down for fire log pose. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Inhale to sit up nice and tall. Fold over the legs as you exhale. Relax your shoulders. Feel the opening in your outer hips. Gently start to walk your hands back towards your shins and come to a seat. Release your hands behind you and plant your feet on the ground. Put your knees at the ceiling. And if you want, let your knees just windshield wiper side to side to neutralize your hips. Staff pose. Plant your hands on the mat beside your hips and lengthen your legs out long. Lengthen through the low back and stick your butt out. Inhale here. Then exhale. Hinge from the hips and start to fold forward. Walk the hands out to the calves or maybe the feet. And let the elbows go wide as you pull your sternum forward lengthening your low back and soften your head toward your knees. Walk your hands back and lift your torso up. Bring your feet flat on the mat. Spinal twist. Pull your right knee in and lay your left leg long. Then step your right foot to the outside edge of your left quad and hug your right knee with your left arm. Glide your right hand behind you and press it down into the mat. Sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist. Let each inhale invite space into your spine. Let each exhale deepen the pose. One more inhale, grow nice and tall. Exhale, twist. Release and turn to your left side. Find a counter twist. Just bow your head to the left. Come back to center and find Janu Shashasana. Extend your left leg long and pull your right foot to your left inner thigh. Plant your hands on either side of your hips and sit up nice and tall. Then exhale. Hinge from the hips and start to crawl your hands forward. Fold over the left leg. 
stick your butt out, draw your left thigh down to the ground, and then bend your elbows to pull yourself toward your leg. Feel the stretch in your left hamstring and breathe here. Gently start to walk your hands back and sit upright. Draw your knees in and plant both feet on the ground. Second side, draw your left knee into your chest and lay your right leg long for a spinal twist. Then step your left foot to the outside edge of your right quad. Hug your left leg with your right arm and plant your left hand behind you. Inhale, lengthen, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale, create space in your spine, grow tall. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Press your sit bones down and lengthen your spine. Inhale. Exhale, deepen the twist. One more inhale to lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Release and bring both hands all the way to your right side for a counter twist. Hang your head here. Come to center, Janu Shirshasana. Lay your right leg long and pull your left foot to your inner thigh. Inhale, keep your low back long. And then exhale, hinge from your hips and start to fold over your right leg. Walk your hands out and grab for your calf or your foot. Stick your butt out. Pull your right thigh down and then bend your elbows and get a little closer to your leg. If it helps you maintain a flat back, bend your knee until your thigh connects with your low belly and fold forward from there. Then start to straighten the leg to increase the stretch in the hamstring. Gently start to walk your hands back and sit upright. Place your hands by your hips and plant your feet on the mat in front of you. Bound ankle pose. Draw the soles of the feet together and let the knees open wide. Wrap your hands around your feet, then inhale as you sit up tall. Begin to hinge at the hips. Breathe out as you pull your chest forward, straight out in front of you. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Then exhale, fold down over your legs. You can put your face toward your feet or your chest toward your feet. You can completely release and let gravity pull you deeper into the stretch in your inner thighs. Or you can keep lengthening on your inhales and pulling yourself further down on your exhales.
gently raise the chest back up. Draw your knees together and plant your feet on the mat. Cross your shins, plant your palms, and find downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Keep the toes pointing down. Exhale, step your right foot wide for lizard pose. Let your back knee lower as you relax into your hip. Let your shoulders be soft. Relax your face. You can walk the right foot out farther. Maybe lift the back knee if that feels good. Turn your right toes out for corkscrew pose. Let your right knee fall open as you reach your right arm back and capture your back foot. Let the hips keep slowly descending toward the mat as you take long breaths in and out. Release the foot. Bring the hands back to the mat. If you lowered your elbows or your back knee, lift them back up. Then push firmly through the hands. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Lift the front foot and step it back. Inhale, send the left foot up and away from you. Three-legged dog. Lizard pose. Step your left foot wide outside edge of your left hand. Gently lower your right knee down and relax your upper body. If it feels good, you can come down onto your elbows, maybe hang your head. Turn your left toes slightly out for corkscrew. Reach your left arm up and back and capture your back foot. Take slow breaths as you open the front side of your back thigh. Release the foot. If you lowered your elbows or your back knee, lift them back up. Then push firmly through the hands. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Lift the front foot and step it back. Inhale, drive the right foot away. Three-legged dog. Exhale, half pigeon. Right knee to right wrist. Lay the shin bone down. You can stay here or deepen by sliding the right foot forward toward the wrist or by crawling the back foot farther away from you. Inhale here. Exhale, fold and release completely.
start to rise. Exhale, down dog. Push through your palms, tuck your back toes, and step back. Inhale, left leg to sky, three-legged dog. Keep the left hip aiming down. Exhale, half pigeon, second side. Take a moment here to find a position that feels good. Deep breath in. Exhale, fold. Slowly lift your torso back up. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Lower your knees down and then slowly make your way onto your back. Plant your feet on the mat. Fish pose. Extend your legs long and start to prop yourself up on your shoulders. Wiggle the elbows in towards each other and puff up your chest toward the sky. Slide the shoulder blades back and lift your chin. Then dive your head back towards the mat and wiggle your elbows down towards your tail until the crown of your head finds the ground. From there, keep pinching the elbows in as you drive the chest up. Slowly release down and bring the soles of your feet to the mat. Extend your right leg to the sky, left leg long to the mat, and interlace your hands behind your right hamstring. Then gently pull the leg in toward your face. Plant the right foot next to the left. Pull your left knee into your chest. Interlace your hands behind your left hamstring, right leg long on the mat. Lengthen your left leg and draw it in toward your chest. Gently release your leg and plant your foot on the mat. Draw your knees into your chest and then let your knees fall to the left side and drape your right arm to the right for supine twist.
Bring the feet back to the mat. Drag your knees into your chest. Then let your knees fall to the right side. Drape your left arm to the left for supine twist. Come back to center. Lift your legs straight up to the sky for waterfall pose. If this doesn't feel very comfortable, feel free to find a wall nearby and prop your feet up on the wall so you don't have to hold your legs up. Relax the shoulders under you and turn your palms up. Feel your legs relax with the pull of gravity. Slowly lower legs down and put your feet on the mat. Lay your left leg long and pull your right knee into your chest. Then hug it in for a gentle stretch. Release your right leg and plant your right foot on the ground. Switching sides, right leg long, left knee to chest. Release your left leg and plant your left foot back on the ground. Draw both knees into your chest and squeeze. Take a final breath in. Exhale, Shavasana. Lay the legs long. Let the arms come down by the hip. Turn the palms up and settle in.
start to deepen your breath. Come back into your body. Namaste. Thank you.